Hi guys, this is Daniel from Do Programming. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about installing Python and PyCharm, which is an IDE for the Python. So in case if you're ready with Python installed or if you're using Windows machine, you can click the links down below in the description so that you can jump to the section. So let's get started. Okay, so now we are at the Python's official website, python.org. We're going to click the download button. And we're going to click this yellow button where it says download Python 3.8.5. So this is the latest version of the Python that we're going to be downloading. So when you click this, the download will start at the bottom. And so the download is done now. So we're going to click this PKG file. When you click this, the installation window like this will show up. We're going to click continue, continue, and you're going to read some license and continue. Agree. Okay. So the installation type, okay. Install. And in here we have to put our password. Okay, so now it's actually installing all the files into this computer. When installation is complete, you will see this Python 3.8 folder come up. So in this folder, we have some files, but we're going to only focus on this idle. So this idle is a little application where we can test out different Python commands. So let's double click this. And you will see this Python 3.8.5 shell. So in this shell, you can obviously test out different Python commands. However, since we haven't learned anything, I'm just going to type a simple print statement. So print hello do programming and type enter. And as you can see, the hello do programming actually got printed out. And there's actually another way of doing the same thing. So we can click the search button at the top right menu bar, spotlight search and type terminal. So in this terminal, we can type Python and type enter. But what happens is that we actually got into Python 2.7 console rather than Python 3.8. So what's happening here is that Mac by default uses Python 2.7. So in this case, we would have to actually specify our Python version. So let's first exit from here by typing exit, open and close parenthesis. And I'm going to type Python 3. So now we actually got into the same environment that we are seeing at the top. So in here, I'm going to write the same print statement. So print hello do programming. And type enter. And as you can see, the hello do programming actually shows up. So I think that's it for the Mac installation for the Python. Now we're going to be installing Python for the Windows. And then in the later portion of the videos, we're going to be installing and setting up the PyCharm. Okay, so now we're going to be installing Python for the Windows. So I'm at the Python's official website, python.org. Let's click the download here. And then you will see this yellow button where it says download Python 3.8.5 which is the latest version. So we're going to click on this and the download will start at the bottom. Okay. So once download is complete, you can click this file and this installation window will come up. So before we actually click the install now button, let's make sure that we click this checkbox where it says add Python 3.82 path. The reason why we are clicking this is that we can run Python, pip and many other commands through the windows prompt and let's click install now. Okay. So when the installation is complete, you will see this window. And you can click close. So now let's uh, click the search button at the bottom and type idle, I-D-L-E. And you will see this idle Python 3.8 come up. So let's click on this. Then you will see this Python 3.8.5 show coming up. So this is kind of like a Python sandbox environment where you can test out different Python commands. But since we haven't learned anything, let's just uh, type a simple print statement. So I'm going to write a print hello do programming. Type enter and you see the hello do programming got printed out. And there is actually another way of doing the same thing here. So let's go back to the search button at the bottom and type CMD and type enter. When you type CMD, Windows command prompt will open, which is going to look like this. And in here, you can just type Python. And when you type enter, you will automatically get into the Python 3.8.5 show, which we saw at the top here. So in here, we can type the same print statement. So print hello do programming and type enter and hello do programming got printed out. So I think that we are done installing Python for the windows. So now we're going to be installing PyCharm, which is an IDE for the Python. 
So now we are done installing Python for both Mac and Windows. Let's try to install and set up PyCharm. So PyCharm is an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So in a simple term, we can think of IDE as a placed code with many great features such as syntax highlighting, auto-referencing, auto-indentation, and many more, which I think that we're going to cover more in later videos. So without further ado, let's download PyCharm. So I'm going to type PyCharm here. So it's the first one that comes up from jetbrains.com. So I'm going to click on this and click download. So we see two different versions. The first one is the professional and the next one is the community. So for our purpose, I think that the community should be good enough. So let's click download here. And the download will start at the bottom. So it's a 362 megabytes, so it's going to take a bit. Okay, so now it's done downloading. Let's click this DMG file. So it's going to open the file. And all you have to do here is basically drag this icon to application folder. So when it's done installing, you're going to see the PyCharm CE at the application folder. So let's double click on this. Okay, so we're going to create a new project. I'm going to name my new project as Python Beginner Beginner's Tutorial. And then you can click the project interpreter at the bottom. So in here, I have it already set up as Python 3.8. But what you can do here is that you can click this icon and go to System Interpreter and then pick the 3.8 that we just downloaded from here. So I'm going to create the project now. Okay, so we just created a project. So there is actually another way that we can set up the project interpreter within the PyCharm so that you can click the PyCharm at the left top menu bar and then click Preference and click the project Python Beginners Tutorial and click the project interpreter here. So you can actually specify the different version of Python here and you can also click show all and click the plus button and then you will actually get into the same environment that we were just in. So in here, I'm gonna click the system interpreter and select a different Python version here. So now we have our PyCharm environment set up. Let's try to create our first uh, Python file. So right click on this project, new, Python file and I'm going to be naming this as first script. Enter. So the PyCharm automatically put the .py extension. So in here, we're going to write the same print statement. So print hello do programming. So if you want to run this, right click the script here and then click the run. When you run it, the hello do programming will be printed out at the console using this uh, Python interpreter that we specified. So I think that's it for this video. If you're here for the first time viewing my videos in this channel and found my videos useful and excited about the future upcoming videos or curious about this course or the contents that I'll be posting into this channel, then please subscribe and like my videos. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in next videos.